Melody Moore Brown here. Let's get started. If one fourth of the pool is filled in five minutes, how long would it take for four fourths or one whole of the pool to be filled? So I already took the liberty of underlining the helpful pieces of information that was given to us in the problem, which is one fourth, five minutes, four fourths or one whole. And what's highlighted in red is the information that we're looking for, that we're trying to find, which is how long would it take? All right, so first and foremost, the important thing is to go ahead and set up a proportion in matching the numbers. So what we do know, or what we should know, is that one fourth turned into a decimal would be simply 0 0.2. 25. Because if you think about it, if you have four quarters, each quarter's value is worth 25 cents. Okay? The number that should be paired in the same uh, proportional relationship with 0 0.25 would be five minutes. So I'm just going to jot that down below. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and set up the next proportion. We're going to equal it to our new or next proportion. So you want to make sure to match up the numbers where they should be. So if we do not know how long it would take for the next proportion, we're going to represent that with a variable. Because remember, X just represents a number. The information that we do have is four fourths or one whole. So we can just put down a one for that. And now we're ready to solve for the problem. This is a simple cross multiplication problem. So we know that five goes across with a one. Let me change cup colors. And we know that 0 0.25 goes across with the x. We're now ready to cross multiply. So now we have 0 0.25x. Let me make that point a little bit more distinguished. Equals 5 times 1 is just simply 5. Now remember, anytime you're trying to solve for a variable and you have a coefficient in front of it, it is important to know that that means to multiply. But when solving for x, you must always do the inverse operation and the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're just simply going to divide by 0 0.25 on both sides. You know that anything divided by itself is simply one. So we're just gonna cross this out and it'll leave us with just one X or just X, same thing, okay? And now we have five divided by 0 0.25 and that would get us the answer of 20. So we now know that it'll take us 20 minutes to fill the whole pool. Thank you so much for watching.